Now, Mr. Hicks, how do you use this infernal machine of yours? Well, this, this is merely a, a machine used for uh, keeping cattle away from a fence, to electrify the fence. And um, that is it in a nutshell. It's a cattle fencer. Well, now, how do you use this on the vehicle? Well, the, the thing to do is that on the vehicle, you attach one wire to any part of the vehicle, such as the chassis. The other end goes onto this, and that you put underneath the tyre, and to stop anybody pinching it, you drive over it. Because if they take that up and put it back on there, it destroys the whole action of the machine. But with that going now, and you touch that, then you get a, a shock of about 2,000 volts, I think. What gave you the idea of using it in central London? Well, we used it originally to keep cattle off the vehicle when they were starving during the snow, uh, to stop them damaging themselves, and we found it was very effective, and I thought we'd be a very good thief device, and incidentally, of course, anti-warden, but that was entirely incidental. Don't you think it's rather irresponsible to use this sort of electric shock treatment to keep traffic wardens away when you are illegally parked anyway? No, I don't at all. They come regularly. I'm not worried about my car. If one parks up in the wrong place, one should get what you deserve. It's my, my transport. Every day, they come and do the whole lot. It costs me 20 to 30 pounds a week. But if uh, I put this at the end of the street, and the trucks, as they come in, before the chaps go, to, uh, go for their dinner, uh, they drive in behind and touch bumper to bumper. The whole lot uh, are then electrified. Well, now, the police are on to this. What's going to happen to you? I don't know. As far as I know, there's no law against it. It's a very effective anti-burglar device. And uh, these burglars are becoming more and more, and I think it's a jolly good device. I think one probably will have to mark your car to show it is electrified, and I think then it would be entirely legal, but I don't know.